Hello and welcome back to Paris 2024 with Total Sport. I'm your host, Kushan Edwards, bringing you the latest and greatest moments from the Paris 2024 Olympic Games. Let's dive into the highlights from the previous week. This week was not short of action, where we saw Kishon Walcott placing sixth in the men's javelin qualification with a throw of 83.02 meters. This saw him ranked 11th overall, sealing his spot in the finals. In the finals, Kishon managed to throw a season best of 86.16 meters. This unfortunately could only see him finish 7th overall. Congratulations, Kishon. In the women's shot put, Portia Swarren finished in the qualification round in 10th position with a throw of 17.22 meters, which did not see her move on to the finals. We head to the track, where Jareem Richards put on a wonderful showing in the men's 400 meter final. Jareem clocked an impressive 43.78 seconds, smashing the previous national record set by Marshall Sidenio. The time saw him cross the finish line in fourth, just narrowly missing out on a podium appearance. Local supporters and athletes alike took to social media to praise Jareem for his excellent display. On Thursday, the quartet of Akila Lewis, Sole Frederick, Sanai Frederick, and Leah Bertrand competed in the women's 4x100 meter relay. The young team placed 8th in their heat in a time of 43.99 seconds, which was not fast enough to see them move forward in the competition. On Friday, all pressure was on the men's 4x400 team as a final push for a medal. However, the team comprising of veteran Rene Kuo, Jerome Richards, and Olympic debutant Jaden Marchand and Shaquem McKay suffered an unexpected error in the first leg that saw the team take a serious blow, subsequently leading to an 8th place finish in a time of 3 minutes 6.73 seconds. Nicholas Paul and Quasi Brown also set the tracks ablaze this week as the pair competed in the men's sprint and Kieran events. In the individual sprint, Brown finished the qualifying round in 26th position, crossing the line in a time of 9.773 seconds, which was not enough to qualify for the round of 32. On the other hand, Paul was able to place 9th overall in the qualification round in a time of 9.371 seconds, which booked his spot into the next round. Paul was able to make it as far as the round of 16 where he fell short to British cyclist Jack Carlin, which placed him into the Reaper charges to vie for a spot for the quarterfinal round. Unfortunately, Paul was not able to seal the spot into the quarters. In a men's curing event, Nicholas cruised through the first round, securing his spot with ease. Meanwhile, Brown earned a place in the Reaper charges but his race took a turn for the worst when he crashed before reaching the finish line. Unfortunately, Nicholas Paul's journey ended in the quarterfinals, where he was unable to advance further. And that's a wrap for Paris 2024 with Total Sport. We enjoyed bringing you the latest updates surrounding Team TTO and look forward to keeping this connection with you. Be sure to follow Total Sport on all social media platforms for live updates and results. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a moment of the action. Let's continue to cheer on our athletes and celebrate the incredible performances across all disciplines and competitions. See you soon.